Here's how to speed ramp in. Shut up, Alex. Here's how to speed ramp in DaVinci Resolve. Let's cook. So once you have two clips that you want to ramp together, what you want to do is you want to add a marker on the timeline level. Let's add a green marker here where you want the transition to occur. So I just want mine to occur at one second. Normally it would be at the beat of a song and then go back to the start of the clip, select it, open up Fusion, shift space to bring up your effects menu and type in time stretcher, press enter. Click this button here so that we can zoom out and we can see it's added a first keyframe here and that's the start of our video. So bring the playhead to the marker that you just added and what you want to do is look over here at this number. That's the total length of frames that your video clip is. And you want to put that number up here in the source time. So we type 189, press enter. If we click this again to zoom out, what this has done is sped up the clip in a straight line. So if I hit space, it's super fast and then it stops. If I go back to the timeline, you'll see what happened. Press space and then it stops. So it's the whole clip length is now condensed into this one second period. So what we want to do is make this a nice ease curve and we want it to ramp up into the next clip. So you're going to select the first keyframe, grab the little toggle, drag it down like so. And then grab the first keyframe and you want to basically flatten it out a little bit and just tidy it up so it looks like a nice gradual ramp up to the end. So now if we go back to the timeline, we can see what we just did. There we go, ramps up. So let's trim off the end of that clip. So now it's just that clip there. And what we want to do is add, press shift spacebar, and we want to add a motion blur. Let's select that, press add, go up here and turn it to better. And you can play around with the other settings, but I don't really worry about it. So that just added motion blur, which really sells the effect. And also if the video looks a bit choppy at the start, it's because your curve is a little bit too low at the start here. So you just want to bring that up a little bit just so it's not losing any frames. So let's have a look now. Uh, and now with the next clip, we basically want to do the same thing, but in reverse. So let's drag the playhead to where we want the clip to finish. Let's say it's there. Make sure you don't have a clip selected, otherwise it'll add a marker to the clip. You want to right click up here and go add marker. I'll add a different color just to make it clear. And then go back to the start of the clip and open up Fusion. Let's add a time stretcher again. Zoom out. So that's added a keyframe on that green marker. So that's where we're starting there. And we want to do the same thing. So let's stretch the timeline out a little bit so I can see what's going on here and I can view the purple marker. So let's drag our playhead to the purple marker, which is where we want the clip to end. We can see here the value is one, two, three, six. Let's add that up there, enter. And now again, we have a really fast ramped clip here. So we want to do the opposites. We want it to ramp into itself. So fast at the start and then slow at the end, but make sure this line isn't ducking down. Otherwise you'll get a bit of lag. So that's a nice curve upwards. And then the last step, you want to add your motion blur again. Oh, make sure it's not vector. Click add. I'm also going to stabilize my clips so it just looks a little smoother. And let's see what we got. <laughs> so that's how you speed ramp to transition between two clips. But if you want to add a speed ramp to the middle of a clip, this is how you do it. Let's say I want to play at normal speed at the start, speed up and then play at normal speed at the end. Uh, what we want to do is open up Fusion. Again, add your time stretcher. And we'll zoom out to see the marker that we added. Here we go. So on the green marker, put the playhead on the green marker and we have one, three, six, four. One, three, six, four. It's the frames in our video, Let's zoom out. So again, the video is just speeding up the whole time. So basically you just want to add an S curve. So starting slow, drag that one that way. And then finishing fast, drag that one that way. So now it's slow, ramps up and then slow again. And then we'll add our motion blur. Trim the clip length down to the length that we want it. 
add our stabilization. And let's see what we got. That's how you speed ramp in DaVinci Resolve. Leave a comment down below if you want to know how to do this in After Effects. And also if you have any questions. Bye.